Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we're going to learn 12 surprising facts about relationships. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Natural Irrationality Love makes you do stupid things. <laughs> you take pointless risks. You can't concentrate. Your judgment's so clouded by powerful emotions that you rarely realize how irrational that you're being. <clears throat> so why is love such a blinding feeling? Love releases neurotransmitters like norepinephrine, dopamine, and serotonin. These chemicals consistently stimulate and reward your body and brain. They fill you with adrenaline and they raise your heart rate. They make you lose sleep and skip meals. You act impulsively because you're overwhelmed by a cocktail of pleasurable chemicals. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. Falling in love is a natural process, like eating or sleeping. So don't be surprised if love makes you at least a little bit crazy. Number 2. Matching Happiness Have you ever noticed how couples start to look alike over the years? This is an extremely common trend. When two people spend that much time with each other, their styles gradually blend together. But I'm not just talking about their clothes and haircuts. Mm -mm. Older couples usually have wrinkles in the same places. If, for example, they spent a lot of time smiling, their faces will develop the same lines. You can often tell which couples are the happiest by how similar they look. Number 3. Overrated Grandeur any romantic movie will sell you the idea that grand gestures will unlock your partner's heart, but those big, expensive gifts aren't nearly as moving as you think. One study found that most partners prefer small favors to grand gestures. The point is to show the other person that you care, right? Grand gestures do show that you care, but they also make people uncomfortable. They might worry about how much money you spent and start to feel guilty. Some people feel like you're trying to buy their love. Their reaction doesn't usually line up with what you imagined, which makes your gesture feel like a waste. People prefer small favors because they communicate the same feelings without breaking the bank. And the best part is, you can do them way more often. Number 4. Cardiovascular Health a review of 34 different studies containing over 2 million participants revealed the amazing health benefits of being in a relationship. It significantly lowers the risk of coronary heart disease and cardiovascular disease. Married men and women also have less heart attacks and strokes. In other words, relationships don't just make you feel good, they help you live longer. Number 5. Chemistry in Tears can you quantify the chemistry between two people? It's a hard thing to really put a label on. It looks so different in every situation. Two people might have amazing chemistry at work and then terrible chemistry an hour later at dinner. In many ways, chemistry boils down to one very complicated question. How well can you relate to the person that you're with? There might be some things about your partner that you really connect with. Maybe it's a hobby or an opinion that the two of you have in common. At the same time, your partner might also do, think, or say things that you just can't wrap your head around. To make sense of the way people relate to each other, psychologist Eric Byrne came up with three tiers of commonality. Each tier highlights a specific part of you and your partner's identity. The first looks at how your core values and beliefs line up. Do you, for example, prioritize your family as much as your partner does? The second focuses on how you make each other feel. Think about whether or not your partner makes you laugh, or if you look forward to spending time with them. The third and final tier is how your identities intermingle. This is where finishing each other's sentences comes into play. If you relate to someone on this level, you can sometimes predict what the other person's thinking because you're probably thinking the same way. The best relationships have chemistry across the board, but not because each person has lived the same life. Real chemistry develops when your identities are both different and complementary. Number 6. Love Conquers Germs Why doesn't it bother you when your partner does something gross? 
A study from the Netherlands found that this is one of the earliest signs of love, and probably the strangest, too. Neurologically, passion and disgust aren't that far apart. When you're in love, those positive feelings tend to overwhelm the negative ones. Otherwise, most kinds of intimacy wouldn't really be possible. So if you don't mind when your partner picks their nose, you might be head over heels. Number 7. Synchronizing Hearts When two people fall in love, their heart rates start to sync up. This idea has been floating around for a while. It seemed like a myth until a study discovered that it's actually true. Researchers tested if people could align their heart rates when sitting across from each other. They split participants up into two groups. The first sat across from a random stranger, while the second sat across from their significant other. As you might have guessed, the first group didn't change at all, but the second did. Couples' hearts started to beat together. It turns out love really is more than just an emotional connection. Number 8. The Romantic Painkiller Cuddling is often nicknamed the romantic painkiller. On the surface, it's a nice, intimate way to relax with your partner, but a few minutes of cuddling can have a major impact on your health. Mentally, cuddling is a great way to lower anxiety and relieve stress. It will immediately improve your mood by suppressing negative emotions like irritation and loneliness. Physically, cuddling is just as effective as most over-the-counter painkillers. It boosts your immune system, it mitigates pain, and it releases a flood of feel-good hormones. If you're ever stressed or in pain, a little cuddling can go a long way. Number 9. Sleep-Deprived Assumptions a study from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine found that people who don't get enough sleep make the same faulty assumptions. Most people know that sleep deprivation lowers focus and productivity, but it will also make you see things that aren't there. In the dating world, this is a huge problem. Sleep-deprived people often mistakenly believe everyone is trying to flirt with them. Why? Well, because your prefrontal cortex doesn't work without sleep. You'll take risks and make really bad decisions, all because you didn't get your 8 hours. Number 10. Younger Divorces Not every relationship lasts forever. Even the most passionate, reliable partnerships can fall apart. Maybe you got sick of each other and fought over everything. Maybe your lives were naturally moving in different directions. Or maybe you just didn't pick the right person to spend the rest of your life with. For one reason or another, around 40% of marriages in the United States end in divorce. That's one in every two to five relationships. Now, that sounds like a lot, I know, but that number used to be even higher. In the 1980s and 90s, over 50% of marriages crumbled at some point. But why was the rate of divorce so high? A 2014 study suggests that age has a lot to do with it. 30 years ago, you'd probably get married between the ages of 18 and 23. More people were marrying young and starting families in their mid-20s. The problem is, you're not done physically and mentally developing at 18. Your body and brain will grow significantly over the next 10 years. And your environment will change even more. You'll experiment with different careers, live in diverse places, and make new friends. In your late 20s, you'll feel like a completely different person. While that's certainly healthy for you, it can create quite a bit of conflict in a relationship. Someone you loved when you were 18 may not have the same appeal when you're 28. This isn't always the case, but it is one big reason why younger marriages are more likely to end in separation. Nowadays, the average age of someone's first marriage is much higher. It's around 27 for women and 29 for men. More people are putting off marriage to go to school and establish their career. And it's working wonders on the divorce rate. Modern rates are over 18% lower than they were just 10 years ago. Yes, less people are getting married now than ever before, but those that do are more likely to make it last. Number 11. Frustration Attraction the harder something is to get, the more you want it. That's just how your brain works. When something is blocking you from reaching your goals, you naturally fight harder. This works for any reward, 
from a fancy new phone to an unrequited crush. In the context of a relationship, psychologists call this frustration attraction. It's a strange phenomenon where breaking up with a partner makes them seem more appealing. A breakup is sort of like being told you can't have something. Even if you know it's a terrible idea, your brain will feel compelled to take them back anyway. Number 12. Total Knowledge You can never really know anyone inside and out. Our lives, thoughts, and memories are way too complex to share, no matter how long you've been together. Even if you don't know everything, you probably think you know your partner pretty well. Most people would say the same thing about their relationships. But one study says the majority of partners don't know as much as they think. Researchers wanted to see if there was a correlation between confidence and accuracy. In other words, does thinking you know more mean you actually do? The answer is a resounding no. In almost every case, partners knew way less than they thought they did. So, even if you've been with someone for years, there's still plenty left to learn. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think, and be sure to subscribe.